Welcome to Voya Global Perspectives. At this point last month, investors may have been sorely tempted to back away from equities. September had turned bleak after domestic large cap markets set new highs midway through and stretch valuations suggested we were more than due for a correction. And with October's infamous reputation for market crashes, the bull got wobbly. While this uneasiness continued through the first half of October, the bull pivoted suddenly with newfound strength. Economic data and strong earnings were part of the reason, but the big jolt came from Japan. Just two days after the U.S. Federal Reserve announced the end of its latest asset purchase program, the Bank of Japan surprised everyone with an enormous expansion of its quantitative easing effort providing a jolt of confidence to markets worldwide. Will the BOJ's bold action inspire other central banks to step up to the plate? Europe's economic woes are many, and it appears unlikely the continent will return to sustainable growth anytime soon. While the risk remains that Europe will continue to struggle as the European Central Bank drags its feet, at this juncture, the risk seems more skewed to the upside. China, meanwhile, has the biggest stockpile of foreign exchange reserves in the world and the firepower to engage in almost any form of stimulus it wants. That said, the People's Bank of China currently is managing only a very modest effort, despite ample evidence that the country's economy is slowing. Keep in mind that central bank intervention only exacerbates volatility. And October's narrative serves as an important lesson for investors attempting to time markets. The danger of focusing on price volatility is that it reflects the market's point-in-time assessment of investment conditions, not the underlying fundamentals by which the market is driven across cycles. A prudent investment approach that emphasizes an accurate assessment of the fundamentals is crucial for overcoming this timing discrepancy and building long-term wealth. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.